Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be an update for my 50 pink before 50 update. This is a project I started doing with Eva from Little House on the Rock. And I only post updates for this project when I finish one of the five pink products I'm working on. So updates for this project are even more sporadic than my highly inconsistent project updates currently are. But I do have an empty, so it was time to film an update and I'm super excited. I am trying to finish 50 pink products before I turn 50, which is in less than three and a half years. I have less than three and a half years to finish 50 pink products. And as of right now, I just went through my list and I have 19 products that I've finished that I consider pink. And um, I think based on that, I'm kind of on track, which is good. It's I'm very rarely on track for anything. So that's nice. Um, one of these days, I'll have to put together like a collage of all the pink products I've finished. But yeah, we're at 19 right now. Since my last update, I finished my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. Now that's in the shade Peach Satin, which technically is not pink, but that was a very pink blush. So I'm putting it under the pink category. I also finished a pinky colored Revlon Lip Glide. I finished my um, pan of pink highlighter from my e.l.f. shimmer palette. I haven't updated you on that Partners in Cream update yet, but it's coming soon, so that's a spoiler alert. And then the fourth product I finished is a product that was in this project, one of the five pink items I'm working on in this project, and that is this Jordana Easy Liner in Baby Berry. I really, really enjoyed panning this product. It was a nice shade of pink. Um, it wore really well. It Sometimes I just use it as a lip liner, but more often than not, I filled in my entire lips with this shade and it left an almost stained effect and it wore off really evenly, even after eating. And I like to put this on and then apply a little bit of lip gloss or one of my lip gloss sticks on top of it. And that's the way I use it most often. It took me a long time to finish this off. It was a product that I was trying to finish off before 2024 and didn't make it, but I'm happy it's gone now. And, um... I think this is a product I picked up at my local Walgreens on a whim, and I don't know if they still sell this there, but I would absolutely repurchase this down the road. I do have several more pink lip liners in my collection that I can choose from without having to worry about replacing this, but I really enjoyed it, and I would definitely repurchase it again in the future if I needed a pink lip liner. Let's talk about the other four products in this project that I've been working on. The first product I put in this project right at the beginning because I knew it would probably take me the entire project to get through, but it is this nail polish in Pink You Cute from Finger Paints. This is where I'm currently at um, right here. And the reason I knew it was gonna take me forever to finish this is because I'm crap at painting my nails. I just don't paint my nails anymore like I used to. There was a time in my life where I enjoyed painting my nails very consistently on a regular basis and the idea of walking out the door with naked nails was unspeakable, but that is not the life I'm living these days. I, I just don't paint my nails as much as I used to and I would love to get back to it, but That's not where I'm at right now. So I have been making progress on this. This was a brand new bottle when I first rolled it in and we're just above the halfway point, but I still have a long way to go and I'm guessing it's gonna take me till I'm dang near 50 years old. 50, I can kick and I can stretch and I can kick. My A lot of my friends are turning 50, so we say that line a lot from SNL. Um, this is probably gonna take me until I turn 50 to finish. The next product is probably still gonna be around when I turn 50, and that's because I just don't give it the attention it deserves. That is this itty bitty shadow in this Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips palette. Um, I don't know if I've used it even once since the last update. Maybe I've used it once. I have way too many eyeshadows that I'm project panning, and this is so far down 
on my list of priorities that I never get around to it. It's a beautiful shadow. I like wearing it every time I wear it. I think, oh, that's really pretty. But I'm prioritizing eyeshadows that I have in Pan That Palette and Baby Pan That Palette over this every day of the week. And as a result, I just never get around to using this. Um, that being said, you know, it's okay. I will try to keep working on it and use it here and there. And maybe, maybe I'll get through it by the time I turn 50, but it's not looking too good right now. The next product was not looking too good either, but I've turned a corner with it and I do have some exciting progress to share with you. That is this All May 3-in-1 Color Stick in the shade Mauve. I've had this forever. This is one of those like OG products that I don't want to hazard a guess, but I would have to say is around the 20-year-old mark, give or take five years. Um, the problem with this stick was that I couldn't sharpen it. And I've, I've figured out a solution. I've made it work. Uh, it took two trials, but we've gotten a decent arrangement here. The problem is that this pencil, it doesn't look that big on camera, but it is a big guy. There is no sharpener on earth that fits this pencil. So instead, what I did was I had this like box cutter in my junk drawer in my kitchen, and I started like whittling away the tip with the box cutter. And I thought, oh good, this is working, I can use this. And then it was time to sharpen it again, and I can't remember where I put the box cutter. It's missing, it's gone. So then several more weeks went by without me using this pencil. And literally today, because I knew I was filming this video, I went to my local Ace Hardware store and I bought two things. Um, the first thing I bought was this gigantic sharpener for like construction work pencils. A lot of people have suggested I buy something like this to sharpen this pencil. Guess what? This is still too small for this pencil. I know it sounds crazy, but the good news is the second thing I bought was this. And this is just like a Stanley utility knife. That's very, very sharp. It has a very nice razor blade in it. So what I had to do was take my Stanley utility knife. This is crazy. This, this is the crazy stuff I'm doing for project panning. But I took my utility knife and I like shaved down the sides of the pencil so that the pencil could be narrow enough to fit inside the sharpener. Because unless I shaved the pencil, it didn't fit. That's what I'm doing to make this work. That being said, if I can keep myself from losing these two items, I might get through this pencil finally because it is working. So first of all, let me show you my progress. This is my line. I have not made a single mark of progress on this pencil since putting it in this project because like I said, I just never used it, never sharpened it, but I finally have a good um, progress line to show you and I'm very excited about this and I'm hoping that maybe now I can get some consistent use out of this, which I wasn't before. Um, the other reason I'm hoping I can get some consistent use out of this is because I figured out a way to wear it that works for me. This is called a three-in-one pencil, which their marketing thing at the time was you could use it on your lips, your eyes, or your cheeks. Um, I've tried it as an eyeshadow base and it doesn't, it will cause my eyeshadow to crease. So that's a no-go. Any product that makes my eyeshadow crease is immediately ruled out as an eyeshadow product. I'm not interested in putting a 20 something year old product on my lips. So I kind of ruled it out as a product for the lips right off the bat. Although I do think I tried it and I just didn't like it. Um, so that left it being used as a cheek product. It's a little bit too light to use as a cream blush and it's a little bit too dark to use as a highlighter. However, <laughs> long story short, the way that I've found to make this work is that currently I'm panning once again, a blush that is a little bit too dark for me. And that was the case when I was finishing off my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Pink Satin. This is good, like if I put the most pigmented blush like right at the center of my cheeks, I can then use this to kind of blend it out and kind of like soften the edges so it's not as stark. And that's how I've been using this pencil. So since putting this pencil in this project like two years ago, I have recently found a way to sharpen it and to use it. And I'm hopeful that now I can get through this. But um, both of those things have caused this to be quite a journey. I think most people probably would have just put it in the garbage can and forgotten about it and been done with it and moved on with their life. But that is not the person I am. That's not how I'm wired. That's not how I was made. Unfortunately, I cannot let things go like this until I figure out a solution. So 
I know some of you out there are just like me, but I also know a lot of you think I'm totally bananas. And I agree with you. I am totally bananas, but I wasn't going to give up on this until I figured out a solution. And I think I finally found a solution. So maybe we'll start seeing some good progress on this and it will move its way up on out of my collection and out of my house. The final product I'd like to talk about that's rolling over again is this lip product from Too Faced. I don't know what to call this. It's not quite a lipstick. It's definitely not a lip balm. It's kind of a tinted lip balm. It is the strangest consistency. It is very thick. Um, part of that could be that it's an older product and it's changed. The formula has changed in some way. I don't know. I don't really remember using this before putting it in this project. But this does live in my purse and I use it quite a bit. This was brand new when I rolled it into this project and that's all I have left. If you know me and you know how slow I am at panning, this is nothing short of a miracle to have made so much progress on this. Let me roll it all the way down to show you how much I've used up over the past several months. Um, the reason this is going so fast is because it lives in my purse and I tend to apply this after lunch or on my way home from work when my lips are a little bit dry and I just want something on there to protect it. Um, it's a good product, but it's also an old product and I have way too many lipsticks. So I'm very, very, very excited at the thought that I might be able to use this up and move it out of my inventory. For some reason that I cannot explain, I don't have a starting part mark for this um, lipstick on my paper, which, oh, I could kick myself. Why didn't I mark my starting point? Too bad. I think I would have a lot of good progress on this, but I will do that now so that we could track future progress. I probably have a picture that I can throw up for comparison that I took of this when I first put it in the project, but um, I don't know why I didn't mark it on paper. Anyways, I'm still working on it and I am using it somewhat consistently, although I do have another lip product that I keep in my purse that I use for the same reason. So I'm not using that one daily, but I do use it quite a bit. All right, in order to keep five products in this project at all times, I have to roll something new in. I briefly debated what to bring in, but in the end, I decided to go with another pink lip liner because like I said, I do have a lot of pink lip liners. I do enjoy using them. Since finishing that Jordana lip pencil, I've found myself wanting a pink lip liner several times for different looks and not having one to reach for because I hadn't pulled one into a project. And so this is going to be a long hauler. This is a very long brand new pencil, not brand new, but like not used. I've had it for a long time, but it's never really been used. And so it's going to take me forever to get through this pencil, but it fits the criteria of being a pink product for 50 pink before 50 and I like the color and it's very similar to that Jordana pencil the pencil I'm talking about is from Starlux this is likely a product that I received in an Ipsy glam bag many many years ago um Starlux was a brand that they featured uh frequently in Ipsy glam bags and I've never seen it anywhere else so I'm pretty sure that's where I got that and this is the shade tickle me pink it is just a wooden sharpenable pencil that has never been sharpened. I did wear this once the other day and it looked like I'd probably tried it out once prior to that. So I'm guessing this is a pencil I've now used two times. So it's going to take me forever to get through this. I will mark a starting point. Um, but it, like I said, it's a good shade and I do once it's in a project and once it's in my bathroom, I tend to reach for it quite a bit, especially with all these kind of glossy products that I'm trying to pan as well. I like to pair the two together and I just like to wear pink a lot. I really like pink makeup very much. I wear a lot of pink eyeshadow and um, when I'm wearing pink eyeshadow, I tend to go for a pink lip product. And when I'm wearing an eye color like this, I tend to go for a pink lip. I just, this is a color I'm very, very comfortable wearing. It's not pink pink, but I mean, it is pink pink, but it's not like a, a bold, obnoxious pink. It's more of a like, got a nudie tone to it that makes it very wearable, but I, I really like it. So this is a product that I'm rolling in to replace the other lip liner I finished. And that will leave me with five products that I'm still working on. One, two, three, four, five. Here's where we're at now. 
Um, if I had to hazard a guess as to what would bring me back here for another update, it would actually be with me finishing one of these two. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. I'm guessing it's going to be the Too Faced lipstick, but it could be the All May lip pencil or cheek three in one pencil. But I'm guessing one of these two is going to be what I finish next, which will probably be many, many months from now. But I am still working on this project and I'm excited to now have 19, right? 19? Yep, 19 pink empties towards the 50 total I'm trying to get before I turn 50 in November of 2027. I don't know why we're talking about November of 2027. We need to stop that. But that's the month that I turn 50. So that's the deadline for me to finish 50 products. We will see. Wish me luck. I will keep working on these items. Some of them. I'll keep working on some of them. Others I'll keep ignoring. And they'll sit in my bathroom looking cute at me. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.